Welcome to Crafty Hints, I'm Chantel, and I can't believe that I'm getting ready to do Christmas in July. Let's do DIY one. I started out with these little wood blocks from the Dollar Tree, and I just used a clamp quick to make sure I didn't have any gaps. You can push it together with your fingers or use wood glue instead of hot glue. If I hadn't been in a bit of a hurry, that's what I would have done. All right, and I'm just gonna glue four of those together and then give it a coat of paint. I love using Waverly's chalk paint in crimson. Um, I use gloves with that one because it's so pigmented that, oh, it's just such a vivid color and it definitely, I don't wanna say stains your hands, but it's gonna stay there a minute or two. It takes just a little scrubbing. And then I used Malachite to make the green color. And then I love this little gingham ribbon. I got the, well, I guess it's buffalo check maybe gingham. I got it in white and then I got it in red. It was a two pack on Amazon. I'll link that below because it was a really good price and it was 50 yards. So holy cow, 150 feet. Perfect for that upcoming Christmas season. Now, I made some tiny little bows for my little gifts. That's what we're making. And I dovetailed the ends. Okay, now a gift needs the ribbon wrapped around to make it look complete. That'll also take care of the lines, making it look like one solid block for us. These will be adorable on a tear tray for Christmas. So I just wrapped them around from each side, gave them a dot of glue. Super simple. Make sure your ribbon's all straight and then give it just a dab of glue. It just needs the tiniest little amount. Isn't that pretty ribbon? I think this gives it just a little bit of that farmhouse, but yet a little bit of a traditional look also. I think it is just too cute. So I made two of them. I might have to make some more to help fill up my tiered tray this year. I love making Christmas tiered trays. Last year, I think I had two of them, and then I let it shift over to winter, so really fun and cute. You'll be seeing more, and here they are. Uh-oh, and a couple sneak peeks. Let's get on to DIY two. Okay, I took this toilet paper tube and I marked it off at an inch. I'm also going to show one in just a little bit at, oh, it was I think between a half inch and three quarters of an inch. Usually I like to make it just a little bit smaller. Now this was my package from the two pack of Christmas trees and it's about seven and a half inches and I wrapped it around here oh I think it was about 36 to 40 times it really doesn't matter you're just going to fill in um, and it just depends on how close you want to put them on your toilet paper roll and I will not make you watch me put all 40 on there but you just snip it at the end and pull it straight. And now I'll show you just towards the end here. So fold it in half, you've got the loop, and then it's just a little slip knot. Pull those two strands through, pull them tight. It doesn't have to be a white toilet paper tube either. That's just what I had. Now these are adorable as ornaments. You can make garlands. You can personalize them in any color you want. 
You could do a couple different colors together. Again, as I say, your imagination is your only limitation. You could use super thick, chunky. Why don't, maybe not super thick. You could use a chunkier ribbon or, excuse me, yarn. Okay, so I've got them all on there. Now I'll just get them straight, make sure everything's on there just the way I want it. Now push it through the other side. That's going to push our knots to the inside and it gives it just a nice finished edge like you actually flipped up the edge of your hat. Just making sure those are nice and straight. Now I put a couple of cotton balls in there. That'll fill up the top of my hat. You could also use some tissue paper. And now I'll just take one of those pieces and tie it off. And again, you can make this thicker at the top or shorter. And now just trim it down and make the little poof on top. They're just so adorable. I made this one real neutral so that it will be able to go on my winter tray then. But it's cute for Christmas. So cute. All right, I participated in Crafted by Corey's mini challenge. You're going to want to visit Crafted by Corey's channel and subscribe to her. You will not be disappointed because she makes some amazing things. So all of the participants in this playlist made some of these minis. We had to make at least three so you'll get some wonderful ideas. The playlist is down below in my description box. So just scroll down after you give me a thumbs up because by now, hopefully you've enjoyed some of these. DIY three. Now I started with this K cup. Yes, it's just a Christmas. Um, it was a K cup. I took the top of it off and cleaned out the filter and all the coffee. Now I'm taking a wood bead and I'm just going to put it right here. We're going to make that little gnome you saw earlier. Now, another idea you could do is wrap this K cup in ribbon so it has, you know, maybe the gnome's clothes. I left it white. And now this is just yarn I had cut earlier for a different project. It was about four and a half inches long. Um, you definitely don't need that much, but waste not, want not. Um, I'm using that here. So probably about, well, measure your K-cup and then just give it, you know, a little bit extra on each side. So probably about three inches would have been fine. So I'm just going to glue that all the way around and I just glued it at the top. I let it flow loosely down at the bottom. So I just make them straight and attach them and keep going around. Like I said, as you can see, I have lots of extra yarn there. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a trim. I didn't want to over trim because I was trying to decide exactly how I wanted this to sit on my tabletop or in my tear tray. And that's exactly what you'll want to do because you're going to give your gnome its own character. So if you wanted to make it a girl and give it some braids or some pigtails or whatever you want to do, you definitely could. Now I just put a few pieces under the nose and wrap some over the top just to cover the top of the nose. And I'm just trimming these down. Now I'm going to wrap this yarn around my fingers and I just wrapped it till I thought it was good. I'm making a mustache. I didn't really count. I don't know, maybe it was 10 times or so. Tied it in the middle and then I'll just snip those off so that on each side I will have his mustache. 
then you kind of want to just hold it up to it, measure it a little bit, taper it, give it a mustachy look, and then just wrap it up around his nostrils. <laughs> and still, it'll need a trim, right? But let's get that across the top. I want that all off the top, and I'm also just adding, making this just a little bit thicker down under his nose. I just thought it should be a little bit thicker for his beard. You know, his beard and his hair kind of all come together, but with his mustache and everything, I just wanted it to go and flow right together. Now I'm taking the cotton balls out of this green stocking cap I made. This is the one that I was talking about that I made a smaller brim to it. I do like it with a smaller one, but that's going to be up to you and what you're wanting. So measure that and then start gluing it down to where you want it. Oh my gosh, isn't he cute? He just makes me smile. Now I decided I wanted a couple more kind of going out to the side a bit with his mustache. Covering up those little bead holes a little bit. Wouldn't this be cute for someone, you know, to take to work and have it just sitting on their desk? Or you could put a hanger on it and it could be a Christmas ornament. But of course, it's adorable little mini on my tear tray. All right, just keep trimming it up till it makes you happy. And here he is. So sweet. get to DIY four. Okay, I have two of the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And then I have these wooden stickers that I still had from last year. I'm going to take the sticky off of the back. Then I'm going to use Malachite again. And I'm going to paint both sides of it. So super simple as you can see. And of course, it don't make you watch me paint all of that. Then I painted the tumbling tower blocks. Same color. And just give it, you know, a pretty good coat. Now, a little bit of hot glue after it's dry. I flipped these around so you can see the wooden stickers had like the little ornaments on them. I'm going to have that facing towards the back. And if I put it my tear tray, you're not really going to see it, but you'll also see that I cover that up in just a moment as well. So I'm going to use Spackle. I love this Fast and Final. I got it at, I believe, Home Depot or Menards. Um, it dries super white. It doesn't have, you can use a Dollar Tree. That works just fine. I would mix just a little bit of white paint with it so that it gives you a brighter look. But this Fast and Final dries so super nice and white and it's fully set within 30 minutes. So I just kind of played around putting this on here so that my trees look like it has a fresh snow on it. And I guess I kind of think about it, how's the wind blowing? You know, is there more snow on all of the right side of the trees? Um, just continue to play with it. I use this coffee stir to apply it. That's one of my favorite craft supplies is these coffee stirs. I bought a package of a thousand of them off Amazon. Goodness, it's been a couple years now, but I use them in so many different crafts. Um, they work to frame out things. I really do like them. I don't know if you can find them at your grocery store. I've heard you could find them at Staples in, you know, some of their supplies, but all right, continue to just apply this until it's the way that you want it. On the back, I just kind of took it and smeared it straight across the back. And then I still, you know, put some little dips here or there in case you could see this on the tear tray. But 
I really just gave it a flat smear on the back for the most part. And I'm just tapping it down now on the base where it might pile up a bit. And so layer this however you want. You could also put a little bit of hot glue to, you know, make it a little bit thicker out and then put this over the top of it. But it's really just that simple to give yourself a quick little winter scene. Let's get to our final five DIY. I hope you've hit that subscribe by now and given me a like. You'll have to let me know which one you like the best. I'd also love to hear if you decorate for Christmas in a specific color scheme. Are you traditional? Is your Christmas farmhouse? Let me know below. It's always interesting to hear the different ways people decorate um, or the DIYs. While I'm thinking about it, what DIYs might you want to see me demonstrate for Christmas? Okay, I showed you the K-cup and this is just another way I'm using another one of them. So again, waste not, want not. This looks like a little planter to me. Um, I've made little planters out of these before and I have that little bit of like garland greenery that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby before. Um, I've made like little miniature wreaths out of it but there's the other regular garland that you get from Dollar Tree and I just snipped that off to give it a little bit of a different texture and I'm just filling in the gaps around the bottom. I put floral foam and that's what I poked my greenery into and now I'm just taking these little berries that I had gotten from Dollar Tree last year and I just plucked them off a little dab of glue and I'm putting those little holly berries on there. Just thought this is going to be you know something kind of cute kind of like a floral arrangement right on my tiered tray. So make it your own. Put whatever you'd like in here. If you have those little miniature jingle bells that Dollar Tree had last year, hopefully this year they'll have them too. Um, that would be cute. I thought of that later. Um, all right. So I just kind of put those all in there, tried to fill it out. Next, I took these pine cones. And this is another crafty hint. Right now, more of the pine cones are starting to fall, um, depending, I guess, where you are. But these are falling right outside my house. And I just snipped the top of this one off to make a mini pine cone. But if you go for walks in different areas, if you aren't lucky enough to have a couple pine trees, go to the parks, things like that. There's all different size pine cones that will be cute in your fall or Christmas DIYs. You can make the cinnamon pine cones for Christmas. Those will be beautiful in a decorative bowl with a couple of ornaments. Fun crafty hints there. All right, just a little bit of jute twine to put around the brim here of the top of this K-cup. Just because you can't quite get, well, I guess if I really sat there with an X-Acto knife, I could. But as you peel off that K-cup, there's a little bit right on that edge. So I just covered up with a little bit of jute twine. And then I'm going to take the baker's twine and wrap it around just underneath that rim. I believe I decided to go with three times around. Then I also put it around the bottom one time. But I just thought it gave it a little bit of dimension. I think it pulls in kind of the thought of candy canes. I think it's very cute. I want to thank you so much, though, for joining me today. 
Christmas in July, kind of crazy since it's 90 degrees outside. And sometimes in my DIY, you could see the sun shining in there. Um, so kind of fun and trying to be creative in July. Now I took a little bit of this buried garland that I also found at the Dollar Tree last year. And I'm just tucking it in to give it just I guess another texture, um, a little bit of a different color, so you've got more of that red and white going on. Oh, that's just about perfect there. Just straighten everything up just a little bit. I think it's good to go. Oh, look at those cute little pine cones. All right, well, thank you. I have more Christmas videos coming up. One on the 20th, one on the 22nd, one on the 25th. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you'll return very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.